What to do with chewed chewing gum? It's blasted off our streets at great expense by councils. Or there are attempts to stop it getting there in the first place. I'll give you the paper to wrap it up into so that, I don't know, do you swallow? Or... It's even turned into art. Ben Wilson has been painting miniatures on the unsightly splodges for years. He's become quite a celeb since we filmed him in 2005. And then there's this. It's called Gumdrop. They're popping up around the capital, this one at the British Library. It's a special bin, which itself is made from recycled chewing gum, because this stuff is synthetic rubber. It's basically a plastic polymer, which means once it's chewed, it should be possible to make it into something else. One woman at the Design Museum in West London has been trying to find out how. I could find pretty much uh, programmes for recycling for a lot of the litters, apart from a piece of chewing gum that I picked up. Now she has a process where the gum from her bins is taken to a recycling plant, mixed with other recycled plastics, and then squirted into moulds. So discarded gum is transformed into more bins and also reusable coffee cups, gum boots, and shoes with snazzy soles. I do believe that um, through right design we can actually uh, change the way people behave. We'll be seeing more pink bins on London streets, surely a better place to drop gum. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.